Welcome to our worked exercise. This is uh, Dr. Charles Severance and uh, worked exercises from Python for Informatics. This material is copyright Creative Commons Attribution 3.0. And if you need basic uh, guidance on how to install Python or use your text editor in general or how to use the command line, stuff that we'll be using in this exercise, uh, go back to pythonlearn.com and work through the introductory materials. So here's our exercise. We're supposed to rewrite our pay program and we're going to use try and accept in this situation so that we can handle non-numeric input gracefully. And we're supposed to print out an error if there's any non-numeric input and otherwise print out the right thing. So let's get started. Um, let's go ahead and start Text Wrangler and start Terminal Program and make it a little smaller. Move it to the bottom. Make this a little smaller. Get rid of the so I'm going to start with um, a program that I've already got written. And so I'll open the last one I worked with, which is Hours 2. And I'm going to save this quickly as Hours 3. We programmers do this all the time. I mean, why waste time typing if I just got done typing it? There we go. And that's why these exercises build on it. So you get used to this notion of just kind of hacking code that you had before. Okay. So um, I'll put the print of right now hours back in. This part from here down is pretty safe. So I'll go into my desktop, go into Python for informatics, and say Python hours three, and I'll say you know 40, 10, super duper, and I say glug glug crash. So where is it blowing up? Well, it's blowing up on the float. So the float is the, the dangerous thing. And this is this float is the dangerous thing too, right? And so this is where it's going to blow up. And now, because of this, the rest of the program hasn't run. And this is exactly the situation we're going to use a try and accept for. Okay, so let's do try. And we're going to just we're going to use a, um, a sledgehammer on this one. We're going to put all four of these statements in a try block. But only two of the statements are in some danger. And in a second, I'll show you what can go wrong with this approach. But for now, we're in the beginning. E-X-C-E-P-T, colon. And this is where we put our error message. Where we go, print. And what are we supposed to print? Um, uh, let's just kind of steal that error. Error, please enter numeric input. So I just cut and paste that. So now we've taken insurance out. And if everything goes well, this accept is ignored. If anything goes wrong, and really it's going to be the floats, one of the two floats is going to go wrong, uh, away it goes. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. Make this a little bigger. And I will save it. OK. Python hours three. Let's do it right first. Looking good. Now let's do it wrong. Now I typed in a bad number and it said error, please enter numeric input, but then it blew up. Trace back to line nine. This is line nine right here. Oops. Well that's because I didn't tell it to do, I didn't tell it to stop, it just kept on going, right? And so there's a couple ways we can solve this. We could solve it cleanly, but I'm just going to be crude at this point. And I'm going to put all this stuff in the accept. Because that way, oops. If it dies, it's going to run this, and then the program's going to be done. Okay, And if it succeeds, it's going to fall through, and it's only going to do this code if that other code worked. And I will show you in a moment the fallacy and why this isn't the best way. But this is crude but effective, right? We're early on. So all we have to do is find a solution. In a bit, we'll talk about what the better solution is. So here we go, Python hours 3. So we type Fred. Kabloom, it dies. So it died on this line right here, 
and then it transferred to the accept and ran this and the program was over. And if we um, give a good one and then something bad, it, it, this line dies and then it continues on. So let me show you a couple of fallacies or some mistakes in this. So watch this. I'm going to make a mistake here. Print. I'll say print r comma h. So I'm print r comma h. So I'll type Python hours, 40, 10, error, please enter numeric input. So what in the heck was happening? It's like it is numeric input. Where did it die? So what I'll tell you, what I'll just show you what happened here, and we won't worry too much about this. It came into the try. It did this. The 40 is good, so that worked. The rate is good, so that worked. What worked was R is not defined. But it turns out that this is another error. It's just a different error. It's not the same as this one. And we just didn't type it right. And so it jumps to the accept. It doesn't do any of this code, but it jumps to the accept. So that's why it, there, it was numeric input, but away we go. Okay? So that's not so good. You don't really want to put too much code inside your try and accept. So let's take a look and do this one a little better. I'm going to cut this back out. I'll move it down to the bottom. And now I've got to de-indent it. I'll fix this rate and hours. And get my indents right. Okay, so now my indents are right. So let me go ahead and run the program just to make sure I'm not crazy. 40, 10, that's good. Uh, 50, 10, that's good. So I'm good. Okay, so the problem now is, is I've reintroduced my error that if I give it a bad thing. Okay, so let's take a look at the kinds of things that we can do to make this uh, a little more elegant. So, there's a, so we're right here. This is the problem. We we need to stop. We don't want to continue at this point. If, if there was a thing that we could say, just just stop here. If there was such a thing in Python, we'd be fine. But that would be bad Python syntax. But there is such a thing in Python. If you want to quit your program, you type quit. It's a function. We haven't covered functions yet. We will soon. It's a function that never comes back. Most functions come back, but the quit function does not come back. So when it comes down here and it prints this, the next thing, and then it doesn't continue. So this is a way of saying we are done. So now let's write this um, and put in some bad information. And it indeed quits. And so it doesn't continue down here. Let's make sure it works with good data. Oop, 400 hours. Well, OK, I guess that's right. So let me comment out my uh, debug print statement here and finish it up. And run it one last time. Error, please, numeric input. Good hours, bad rate. That's good. And good hours, good rate. And that's good. So we've accomplished this one.